Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. Today, we're excited to guide you through the setup and installation of the Netgear EX6120 Wi-Fi Range Extender. This powerful device is designed to help you eliminate those pesky Wi-Fi dead zones and significantly extend the coverage of your existing wireless network. So, let's dive in and get your Wi-Fi up to speed. Today, we'll cover unboxing the Netgear EX6120, setting it up manually for full control, and using the WPS method for a quick setup. We'll also explain how to reset the extender, ensuring you're prepared to troubleshoot or restart when necessary. Let's get started. Here's the Netgear EX6120 box. Let's open it up and check out the contents. First, we have the Quick Start Guide, which offers clear, step-by-step -step instructions to help you set up your extender swiftly and effortlessly. This will ensure you get your device up and running in no time. Next, we have the Netgear EX6120 extender itself. It's sleek and compact, designed to plug directly into a wall outlet without taking up much space. Plug in your extender. Find an outlet that is halfway between your router and the area where you need better Wi-Fi coverage. Make sure it's within the range of your existing Wi-Fi network. Plug in the extender and wait for the power LED to turn green. Connect to the extender. On your computer or mobile device, open the Wi-Fi settings and connect to the new network called Netgear underscore EXT. Once connected, open a web browser. Access the setup page. In your browser, type www.mywifiexd.net into the address bar and hit enter. This will take you to the Netgear Installation Assistant. Follow the prompts. The Installation Assistant will guide you through the setup process. Select your existing Wi Fi network, enter the network password, and choose the new extended network settings. Connect your devices. Once the setup is complete, reconnect your devices to the new extended network. Look for the network name you just created and use the same password as your existing network. Let's set up the Netgear EX6120 using the WPS method. This is a quick and easy way to get your extender connected to your existing Wi-Fi network. Press the WPS button on your router and you should see the WPS LED begin to blink signaling it's ready to connect. Within two minutes, press the WPS button on the Netgear EX6120 extender. Then, wait for the WPS LED on the extender to turn solid green. To reset the Netgear EX6120 extender, press and hold the reset button for about 10 seconds until the power LED blinks. This restores the extender to its factory default settings. Now, Connect your devices to the new extended network by selecting the new network name created during setup. Use the same password as your existing Wi-Fi network to ensure a seamless connection.